Hey guys, Tequila Hombre here. Today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of winemaking. See, I talked in one of my previous videos on the Hombre channel about how wine and tequila production are very, very similar. So what we're going to do is since it's illegal to make tequila here in the United States, we're going to make wine and kind of go through the process and kind of show you what it's like since it's so similar to how tequila is produced. Um, how the steps are and how it's very similar to tequila. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into making some wine. And today we're going to be making a Cabernet Sauvignon. So let's get into it. All right, first things first, we have our fermenter. So this is a 15 gallon fermenter that I normally use for brewing beer, but I'm making wine in this today. It's all been sanitized. It's very important that we sanitize everything and clean it so there's no bacteria in it. So there's no wild fermentation going on. So I use some stuff called Star Sand, which is a um, very good food grade sanitizer that's uh, non-toxic and you could actually eat it and it wouldn't hurt you. So we got everything sanitized and clean. So we're going to start the first part of this process. All right. So we added in our con grape concentrate. This is the same as the Mosto uh, coming out of the uh, roller mill or Toona. So this is the juice from the grapes, just like it would be the juice from the cooked agave. All right, so here we go. This is a bag of grape skins. So this is like um, doing a fermentation with the fiber. Normally they'll float the fiber in the uh, fermenter, but sometimes they'll put them in burlap bags and soak the fibers in burlap bags to keep things a little cleaner. That's what La Altenia does with um, Corrado. But here we're gonna, put the skins in to the fermenter and allow it to ferment these as well. All right, so we have the concentrate in there. We have a bag floating in there with the, the grape skins, which is like doing fibers from agave. Now we're gonna put the important part in there and that's the yeast. There's wood floating around there too because we're gonna do this as if we're doing it in a wood fermenter. And then we'll sprinkle the yeast on, which the yeast will then convert the sugars in here to alcohol carbon dioxide and it'll convert all the sugars in there so now we're ready to start fermentation all right yeast has been pitched the fermenters all sealed i did do a bricks reading on it and we did hit 22 bricks which is equivalent to a starting gravity of 1090 so it should be a nice hefty red wine uh, after it's done fermenting so we're going to let it go for a couple weeks and then we'll check back and do another update video on it as things progress. But this is the way tequila starts and typically it's going to ferment now for about five days or so and then we'll let it settle after that. 